Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Heart Tongue Family Farms. Look at this. Not a good sign. But bad. Anyway, that is frost, which means the end of the growing season is real near. I don't know how hard. I mean, it's not a bad frost, but it's a good one. Tuesday into Wednesday is supposed to get a good hard frost, so that's going to end the growing season up here. Anyway, today I'm on my way down to the Preston farm. I'm going to get a grain cart. Not a grain cart, a grain wagon. Um, and we're going to come up, and I've got a neighbor coming over, Scott Weber. He's going to knock out six rows of corn along the road down there where we tore the fence out last year so we can get the fence in early. Originally, we we're going to wait till the corn got out, but heck, that could be like November. Get that corn knocked out, put the fence in hopefully the next week or two, and then once we get the corn out, we can just take the cows right into there so they can get in there and get that. But that's what my game plan is today, and then I'm going to head out to Nebraska, Lincoln. The reason why I'm heading out to Nebraska is because uh, we are purchasing a new item out in Nebraska. I've been looking for one of these for a while, and you will find out later on what it is. But see if it's something we want, what we need, and then hopefully I hitch it onto here and bring it back with us. So. Okay, I made it down to the Preston farm here, and I'm picking up this Brent 644 gravity wagon. Got him all hooked up. What we're going to do now is I'll take that up to Bellevue. Hopefully he can knock out that uh, six rolls of corn along the gravel, and I'll show it when we get up there. But that way we can get that new fence in. He's backing in here. What he's going to do is he's going to run along here and yank out this corn, six rolls. Always takes the longest opening up a field and it's really tough here because we're only doing six rows of opening the field. The reason why we're doing this is because of that fence there. We're going to take that out. We're going to put all new fence in here. That way we can get the equipment to come in and pound the post in, run the wire. Something we wanted to do probably uh, five, six years ago. We're finally getting it at it now. So what he's going to do is he's going to go all the way up there. Then he's going to have to back out because there's no exit up there. There's a steep hill with the fence, so he can't get out. So I don't know what the fence is going to do with this nightmare here, but we'll figure it out. So now he's going to back out. And then we'll go up the road, and we'll come back this way a little bit, and then all the way up. So. There's the cows. They're behaving a little bit, the way it looks. Did a nice job backing out. So here's the next spot. He's gonna work his way up to the bridge. And then we gotta go from here all the way up to the Shekels property line, and we'll be good. our fence from here over to there and then uh now you gotta back out of here again so as you see the fence is right on the other side of this sign there and we're gonna move it from there over to the, by that tree and run it alongside that tree up so the game plan is to move that fence down to here hopefully monday we'll come in with the shredder and cut the trees, little trees down, shred this all out, shred this all along there. The gate hole over there is about 30 feet, and that's what we want to do over here. Because last year the gate hole was only about to here. It was kind of tough getting our equipment from out of here. So now we'll really have it, because I put a tube in. That tube goes way over to here. Things are picking up here at the Heart Tongue Family Farms. Okay, it looks like he's backing out here now. I think what he's going to do, he's going to come out, go out, go way to the other end, and come this way, I think. So, I'm just thinking what he's thinking. I don't know. Oh, this could be better yet. He's going to unload right here. That way, I don't have to do it. Looks awful wet. It's kind of cool. Big old helicopter. I don't know if you can see it or not. Dinus trucking. Awful wet. I'm gonna leave this thing sit here for the night and come back and get it later on. 
Okay, it's Sunday and I'm out in Nebraska, Lincoln. I'm out here visiting my sister and my son. And I'm actually gonna look at my next purchase for the farm. And I'll give you a hint, it has something to do with that. Not that, not that, but this size. Sister. Sanders. Son. How you two? You'll be famous someday. <laughs> Sister. Someday. Go Hawkeyes. <laughs> yeah, well, she fell on her head this morning. That's why she said that. So I'm out here in Lincoln, Nebraska, like I said. Magnetize them to our guns themselves, like the stock. This is Kane Dixon. This is the purchase that we just bought at Hard Tongue Family Farms. So it's a 14 footer. Looks like big Tex. Just hooked him up. Very good shape. I think it's going to come in handy. Um, we will be able to haul a skid loader in it for sure. I don't know about the tractor. I don't think we're going to have a, enough for the tractor, but we'll see. But we'll definitely be able to haul the skid loader up and around on this. It's going to do good for rock, gravel. Instead of hauling in my pickup at a pickup at a time, I can just get a dump in here. Pretty excited about this. And now we're going to head make the long trip back to, you know it, beautiful Jackson County, Iowa. You know it, folks. And I told my wife, now I need to get a bigger truck. And she rolled her eyes at me. Yep, she went, Woo. I got big techs home. I'll store them here at my property here for now. I like him. I think it's going to work out good. 14 foot, small trailer, <laughs> big trailer. That trailer can fit inside of it. The reason why I'm parking it here is because I have to clean out my garden. Things are about done here. So I'm going to come in and I'll clean all this out, put that in there and dump it out. So I'm going to come in and pick this fruit here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's some kind of a fruit that I got from two. I'm going to come in and I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to get rid of about half of this. Uh, I got problems here. Sewer lines, this clay burn red stuff. Anyway, it runs in from the house in between underneath both garages. So I gotta have a guy come in and bore from there all the way up to the house. And then we're going to uh, put a new sewer line in. So I guess we as it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna pay for it. But I have a, a buddy of mine that does that for a living. So he's gonna do that. An expense I didn't really like to see, but you gotta have it done. And we have a nightmare going on. You're figuring out a nightmare. How could the Bud Man have a nightmare? Well. I got a call last night, I don't know, about 10 or 9.40, 9.30, whatever it was. I was actually in Waterloo, Iowa, doing a ref in a football game, and cows out. I'm thinking, oh, no, but oh, yes, it happened. Anyway, we weaned cows yesterday from the creek because they're getting in the corn. And I forgot my camera. Sorry. I'm glad I did, too, because it was kind of a nightmare there, too. But anyway, we had cows out. We had 18 cows out. They broke out. What we did in a quick hurry is we took them from the creek. We took the calves down to Preston to a yard, and we took the cows up to the buildings behind the house up there. Well, they busted out. And now Curtis and Nathan and a bunch of the f uh, neighbors up there helped get them back in. Uh, Hinchins, Genthers, uh, they all helped get most of these cows back in, but they still couldn't get a couple of them in. So, but I got a text from Nathan last night, and he said that three are in the yard, one is still MIA, missing in action, number 61, which on the other side, 61 had twins, and one of her calves is MIA on the creek side down there. So it's kind of a long confusing story but anyway we have problems so i'm gonna run out today and make sure they uh behaved i hope okay well like i said we'll get out the farm and see what happens so one two three it's supposed to be 18 in here we only have three let the nightmare begin well, there's another escapee 16 so we still got a long ways to go to get the rest of them up. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and see if I can bring them up here. This is a nightmare. Embus! Okay, we got major, major problems now. They jumped the fence there. We got one there, two back there, and we just 
took four out of here and took it down the road and we got locked in although hopefully they're there cows what are you gonna do with them we got seven more up here I don't know how we did it but we got them out of the neighbor's hay field borrowed Scott Henshin's trailer so we have to go to Preston and get one and load it up seven and brought it up here so we have 10 cows and a bull here so that's 11 so we're still missing seven so we're missing one that's 61 orange tag is still MIA so hopefully tomorrow it shows up but tomorrow Ron's coming up and we're gonna bring all those cows out of there and we're gonna bring them up into the pond pasture and lock them up that's the plan good morning everyone we do have a rental house too a business so I got a few things that just kind of busy yeah anyway today is a happy sad day for the bud man today we will be weaning the other bunch of cows and calves up in Bellevue quick story what weaning is is when we actually take the calves away from the moms we'll take the calves down to Preston and both of them will be bellering crying however you want to explain it for probably about uh, about a week or so then they settle down and get used to everything but anyway that's what we're doing today that's why it's a happy sad day get the calves rounded up get them sorted out get them loaded up take them down to press and then we'll come back and grab the bulls we'll take the bulls out of the cows and get those down so we got 34 calves take down and then we have three bulls we'll take down to the Preston farm and then hopefully these cows settle down uh, hopefully it's not like two weeks ago where we they broke out that was bad that was a long weekend for the bud man let's get out to the farm here shortly get all set up for them they're supposed to come up here about 10 o'clock so like I said it right now it's 10 after 7 now so get everything all rounded up get them all sorted out and then when I get up here we'll load them up and get them weaned just gorgeous son there they come. They know what's coming. Slowly but surely they'll work their way up here. I'm gonna go get a gate, take it down and reinforce the gate down there. Bring all these cows and calves up into here. We'll sort the cows out, load the calves up. They go. And those cows will be pretty sad for the next week. So they're all up here ready. Get some feed. Now we'll count them quick and make sure we have 38 cows and 34 calves. So looks like they're all in. I hope they're all in. I know they got 36 cows, two bulls. Now I gotta wait for the trailers to come up. I'm gonna go get a couple gates. Okay, Curtis is on his way up. Looks like Nathan's just pulling up. Oh, he's got his truck. Here comes a bull too. Here comes a bull. Come on, you f oh. Come on. I mean, he does good, doesn't he? Yeah, he does really good. Okay, 34 calves, two bulls, one trailer. We're gonna load the bulls up first, the way it sounds, and then we're gonna get the calves. There's big guy. Come on, let's go. Let's go, get up there. Come on, get up there. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's go. Get up in there. Let's go. Come on. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, get up there. Hey. 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 Come on. Hey, get up there. Come on, boys. No. Okay, there goes two loads. We got the three bulls and 24 calves. Love. We have 10 calves here. We got to come up and get one more load. Hopefully they behave for an hour when they get back. I got a casualty though, I had to jump a fence. What happened was a calf got in the feeder, went underneath it, we had that gate open. So I jumped that fence, come around, bring it back in. It worked out pretty good, it just ruined my pants. Grandma fixed it for me though, she fixes everything. Wish we would've got 12 out of here. It's a happy, sad day for the bud band though. Calves are heading to the farm. Cows will be bellowing here for a few days, but They'll get over it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna open this gate up here and then bring those cows up around, down, and back in through here. So hopefully they'll cooperate and come right through here. 
Hey, dumb f Oops, sorry about that. Good girls, underneath the highway, here we go. Nice and muddy. Taking a few more gates over here to make it kind of a little easier, I hope, so. While I'm waiting for Curtis, I'm out to take a bail out. Come on. Come on, seven. Yeah, a girl. Come on. Calves are all loaded up. Last ten. Okay, there they are. Hopefully, they settle down for the next five to seven days. Well, it looks like they got everything pretty much done here. The fence-wise, you can see it starts here. Goes down the hill. The gate's not hung yet, and it goes straight up that mountain there. Good and wide here anyway, good and wide. I gotta get rid of these. There's nine stumps throughout here that I need to get out so we can put new wire on here. Timber. Timber. Okay, I got all the trees out that are supposed to be out. Now what he's going to come in tomorrow, as you can see, he's got one wire hung. And he'll re-hung, hang five more wires on these. All the way down, so we got some good wire on it. And all he's got to do is hang the gates, and he's going to hang those tomorrow. Cows are starting to settle down. I don't think they're missing their babies too much now, so... A couple more days, I'll turn them back out in the big pasture so they can get a little more feed. And I'm going to call Ronald now and see what he's up to, and we'll see when he's coming back I think around the 18th today's about the 6th so he's got another 12 days up in Canada wherever he's at Wyoming Canada I don't know Utah who knows where he's at beans are starting to turn good corn starting to turn everything's starting to look good up here church time falls coming it should be about 13 and a half 14 acres that we got fenced in here I bet this was fun driving these posts in holy cow nice gate here this way if we need to get in here to do something maintenance cut some trees down cut some firewood up we'll have it and it goes up there the fence used to go right through here i just thought it'd be a lot easier to put a new fence in and that's what we did you can see the old fence is right here and i'll come back i don't know this fall or maybe in the spring do the s on there's for save save that tree and I'll come back in and we'll tear out this fence here. We don't need it because we got a nice fence right here. Corn don't look good too good here because of these trees here suck all the moisture out. And it doesn't get the moisture. So this is going to have to get trimmed up here somehow. Post pile over there is about half the size. So that's the, as soon as we get the corn out, we'll put some more in down by the road where I tore it out this spring. Should I, I just ran to McCulloch and we had to get a couple gates. Remember the one down by the fishing hole? That's the first one. Uh, it's a 10 footer. And then the one on the uh, underneath the 14 footer that's going to go up along the cornfield. Looks like my little buddies here are set on down. Uh, the calves that we weaned last week are over here. Hi, girls and boys. Oh, not mooing, just eating, eating, and eating. We come down to see Grandma, bring her down some desserts that we had left over. We had a bad deal up in Bellevue yesterday, actually outside Bellevue. Uh, so we had a lot of law enforcement in the town and I got started work yesterday morning at six in the morning. Saturday morning, I got home this morning, three o'clock this morning, Sunday morning. So it was like 21 hours of uh, stressful stuff. But yeah, it was a bad deal up here, but we caught our suspect uh, and he's gonna go away for Hopefully a long, 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 long time. A lot of people get bring in food. 30, probably 35 officers, both male and females at our PD, looking for this guy. And the cool thing about it, the Bellevue Fire Department supplied lunch for us. Uh, and then uh, we had a family in town, the Coos family. They actually had a bunch of chicken from our anniversary so they brought chicken mashed potatoes and all that good stuff over so 
Corey, a shout out to you and your family. All right, huh? Stressful day, but it's over with and we got our guy. So about one o'clock this morning. So, okay, I'm gonna go see grandma and see what's going on there. Okay, we're leaving the Hard Tongue Ranch and they have two semis here getting ready to look. Actually one's unloading now and the other one's behind it. I see Curtis drinking a monster something. What are you up okay, to? Tom? What are you doing? Nothing. Where are you picking at? Down at Mom and Dad's. Really? We yeah. were at Freddy's. And West side or East side? What? West side? West side, yeah. Freddy's done? Huh? Freddy's done? Yeah, we just got done with that. We're sw switching over to the other field now. Like 21%, not bad. That's not bad at all. We're picking, picking, picking. So That's me. You got the bud man here. I'm gonna go over and let those cows down into the timber. Okay, here they are. They're all coming up here, so let's see if we can get them down below. Fast. Hey. Yeah, they'll get a little more grass going here then. Nice fall day, a little windy out, but got the cows moved out of the pond pasture down through the timber down into the bottom so they can uh, eat that stuff there, green stuff called grass. That way I don't have to hay them for a while. So they should be content for the next few days. 